For the first time in the state's 132-year history, the South Dakota legislature is moving forward with the possibility of impeaching an elected official. The House of Representatives passed a resolution today that establishes a special investigative committee on impeachment. And that committee will decide if there are impeachable offenses against Attorney General Jason Roundsburg. Kevin Lauren Solig has the latest from the Capitol. It's been more than a year since the night Attorney General Jason Roundsburg hit and killed Joe Beaver in Hyde County and left his body in the ditch. Beaver's family is still waiting for closure. I thought we would be done with this by now. It's 14 months. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be at least 16 months if this is taken up again during the regular legislative session. It's dragging on for a long time. To investigate whether articles of impeachment should issue against Jason Roundsburg, Attorney General of the state of South Dakota. The next step in getting that closure falls on the shoulders of six Republicans and two Democrats in the state's House of Representatives. They will determine if there are any impeachable offenses against Roundsburg. If they can't decide, the House Speaker will cast the deciding vote. They've got a big job ahead of them. I think it's terribly important that we pursue this. We've heard from law enforcement, we've heard from the public, uh, and folks want to see that we do a thorough and fair job, uh, and that demands transparency. Representative Will Mortensen brought forward an amendment that will further that transparency. It ensures that any of the information that's gathered is something that can be accessed by any member of the House, not just the committee we put forth. The amendment also ensures that unless otherwise redacted by the committee, the information they obtain can be made public. We don't want things like victim information out there. We don't want to be inadvertently releasing sensitive attorney general office files, those kind of things. It's time, it's time to take action. And, and I, was, I was hoping that more action would be taken today, but at least it's a first step. We'll see what happens. In Pierre, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. Now, the timeline for the special committee is uncertain. The full House of Representatives will reconvene 14 days after the committee files its report. As a whole, they will decide then whether to send articles of impeachment to the Senate for trial.